Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts. I'm going to be showing you today just a quick paper piecing video. Uh, this is the Cuddly Cute Swim Bears. It is a newer pattern. I just like these little bears and I thought I'll just pop on and show you the video of how I put them together. I have separated out all my pieces. This is for both sets, or excuse me, for both bears. So I'm just going to pop in and start doing this. I'm going to do some of the pieces that I do know to go, you know, kind of layer together right away first. Start with her bow piece. Um, I don't have a real good method of how I do my paper piecing. I really just kind of jump in and start layering pieces that I know where they go together and like I can do the eyes and I've got my four pieces and I'm just going to lay my eyes out so I know they're you know, like those two go together just because the curves come in and I think I had these right when I did them, yeah. I know when I inked them, I had to be careful that I inked the right sides. And I've got about, well, I think four paper pieces that I cut out and just put in little baggies. I'm going to pick that up right. And um, so just making sure I get... So I had to make sure I was putting my, you know, pieces together right. So sometimes it takes me a bit. Um, if you're not familiar or haven't seen, Cuddly Cute Designs does now have printable eyes that you can purchase. So then you could just resize them whatever size you want for your pattern. And print those off and cut them out and you've got your already made eyes which I think is a great thing if you don't like to do eyes I've had a lot of good compliments and heard a lot of good things about them I have not tried them simply because I like the look of the paper piecing and I don't mind doing eyes I don't know if it's just me but but I do think it's an awesome option because I know a lot of people just don't like to do eyes. So um, I am glad to see they're back. One other company had them for a while. And I don't know what happened. They uh, just they discontinued them what? So now I'm going to grab my pieces for my beach ball. And I will show you again what I did on this. Uh, I did put little marks on the back. I don't know if you see the little spot. One other piece I thought I had. Yeah, this one I just put a B for back. Uh, just because I never can remember exactly how these go. And I know when I was inking them, that was my trick to, to remember how I got them. And I want to say thank you to my wonderful friends who have sent me some packages recently in the mail. I um, had gotten a package from Kim Ferguson a while back, some photo sleeves. So thank you, Kim. Be sure and check her uh, videos. She has some great scrapbook layouts and cards. She does some wonderful jobs, uh, a wonderful job and great videos. So check her out. And then also Linda, thank you very much for the ink. Um, I sometimes am slow at getting my mail. I don't always get out there, so I apologize. But thank you all very much. As you notice, all the pieces in the middle don't come together. It is okay. Uh, the center of the beach ball takes care of that. At first, when I was trying to ink them and put them on, I thought, they're not coming together properly. Well, 
there is a reason, and it all works out in the end. And if you do happen to see the um, photo, the file online, I did change the colors. I, I apologize, I should have commented on that also. Next I'm going to put the, uh, get in camera and frame a little bit, the snorkel piece together and this is the top so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the top there or a lot I have a little bit too much there then I'm going to come down a little bit this piece actually is curved in the slightest bit and it actually goes the curved parts of the piece go side to side if that makes sense they go horizontally yeah, they do not go vertically I have to stop and think about horizontal and vertical I apologize and it's gonna go approximately here it doesn't have to be exact but that's our little piece and I'll just put that away over there I'm gonna come in next I don't know if the camera's picking up the this is actually uh, there's two pieces of acetate they're going to go be going in these sunglasses and the goggles I'm going to attempt to put those together I'm wondering if I put a piece of black underneath here for a moment uh, I can see the glare, so yeah, it might help a little bit. I'm going to try to be very sparing on my glue. I don't want it, and I'm going to try to get it toward the outside edge as much as I can. I don't want it um, seeping onto the acetate, if I can help it. I'm actually going to just uh, tap a little bit off because if it does, it just it, glue on the acetate will leave a mark. And I apologize, I can't work on the black I'm trying to put it together. I can't see very well. Um, I sometimes have a bit of a struggle getting this part lined up. So, holding it up helps. I don't know if you can see a little bit, but once you put it on their faces, you might see more. My acetate is very clear. I had some that's a little bit cloudy, but I was afraid it would be too cloudy, so I chose not to use it. All right. Now, before I attach the nose piece for my glasses, I'm going to put the rings on because the acetate piece actually has a little connector piece it's great so you really do know where to put the nose piece the little cross piece in here which I really like so I'm gonna go ahead I'm trying to determine the ink has faded uh, a great deal on these it was quite dark when I put it on and that just goes to show ink does uh, Fade quite a bit in spots, some inks, some colors. Um, but okay, here again. I apologize. I need to hold this up. I can see a little bit better, maybe. I'm going to be put these putting, excuse me, these pieces on layouts or on a layout. And the reason I changed the colors was some of these colors are in the uh, pattern paper I'm quote unquote planning to use for my layout. Uh, and I wanted the colors to somewhat match for a change. So that was my reasoning. And that was the reason I put the two rings on for the glasses first. Because if I put this little nose piece on, 
I wouldn't know exactly if it was, you know, meeting on each end or how it would go. So it just gives me a better idea of the, exactly where to place it. So got that dose done. And oh, I'm going to quick pop these, the black parts of his eyes on here. This paper is actually textured the slightest bit, so it's easier to tell what side they're going on. And I put the elongated curve to the inside of the eye. If you can see one's a little bit, there's a, one side is a little bit longer if you look closely. It doesn't matter, honestly, if you don't get it one side or the other. You will be the only one that can tell. I don't think anyone's going to come up and say to you that you get the eyes on backwards. So Sorry, I'm just wanting to make sure my computer doesn't go to sleep because I have not put these together, so I do have to uh, make sure I'm following the picture. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop the ear pieces together uh, just because I, again, I'm going to start assembling the bear, but I do the pieces where I know they go together. It's just easier, and I should have separated my pieces out a little better. I'm sorry. Get the other ear. Someone had asked uh, what paper I like to use for paper piecing. I I really like, and I'm not uh, seeing one company over another. I just know what I've like because I've done this for a while now, and I like American Crafts. I love their paper. I use Basil. Sometimes it's a little bit heavier, but I do like it depending upon the colors I can get. I believe it's Recollections. I don't know. My sister's the one that usually purchases paper for me, so I apologize. Um, I've also used, I think it's the Paper Studio when you get the paper packs. The one thing I can say I have learned with buying paper is I don't like it very thick. Um, it does not cut as well is the main reason I say that and hmm, seem to be missing a paw somewhere I'm just looking at my yeah I will have to come back and cut another paw because I do see I'm missing which is not unusual for me uh, anyway back to paper I apologize I get delayed here or um, I like it to be you know somewhat flexible and not real heavy because and try to keep your weights of your pieces together if you get if you have some uh, some in your stash that's a little bit thicker and then you have some fairly thin it does not layer the best so just little things I've learned also when I have very tiny things um, I do, and when I'm talking about maybe a sixteenth or smaller of an inch, I will put my uh, cutting machine on less pressure and I'll cut multiple times. I found that works really well for me too. So I just wanted to kind of give you that heads up. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here, working on 
the bear, the boy, because the girl, her body is actually the swimsuit. So um, let's start with that first because she will have a separate neck piece that will be attaching. And putting his head at a slight bit of an angle here. I was just looking at a couple things to see what I was doing there. Now his legs are going to, I don't know why I put them in quite so far, but his legs, they'll be coming together like this. Since I cut these all together, I just want to make sure that both leg pieces are the same, which they are. And try to pop those on fairly even. Just gonna put a little bit of glue here and also on the back side of his body. Sorry, I'm still upset I didn't cut that other uh, hand or the paw. I um, cut scraps a lot and so if for any reason I get off a little bit on where the pieces are showing on the paper when I'm cutting, I have to go and recut another piece. So his paws will overlap slightly at the bottom. It's okay. Um, I just glue mine just uh, to hold them so they're not flapping in the wind. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, yeah, I was going to say I only had three arms, but that is correct. He will have two. The girl, her one arm is hidden behind the beach ball. When I put the arms on, I try to get it just so it's barely behind the head. And at a little bit of an angle. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and attach his swim trunks, but before I do that, I want to get these pieces on. I think it would be easier to put the glue this time on the bottom of the shorts. Works better for me in some instances. Sorry if I'm off frame, out of camera frame a little bit. Apologize. And then he's got um, just wiping off the excess glue a little bit there. He's got the uh, top to his swim trunks, so pop that on. There is a swimming pool and um, the accessories like a float and the beach ball and stuff on a separate pet file that you can get. I don't think I'm going to get that, but um, just wanted to let you know that it is available if you're interested. So the pieces are there, all of them. I'm going to be making, I know, just a single page layout, so don't need all the rest there. Okay, so then I'm going to take the arm and again because I was making both of these and inking them at the same time I made sure the arm is going the right direction. Uh, but this arm is going to be coming out and it's going to be holding his uh, towel. So we don't want that one coming down like that. And again, just looking at the photo, I knew how it should be placed and how to ink it. So 
wanted to just give you that heads up. I just kind of place it out here. And then this, I'm just doing this so I kind of know where I want the glue. So on the curve up here, though I still have glue everywhere. And then over on this side a little bit. And then I'll put a little bit on the bottom of the tail here. Now that I have the head on, I'm going to go ahead and get his ears kind of placed in here. The ears are fairly large, which is nice because a lot of them get covered up. But to have it big enough on the back side or the top side, you need it larger. So, and remember that we tilted his head, so we don't want these to go straight across. It's got to come down just the slightest bit. Um, because again, his head is tilted. So if it was, if you're looking at it straight and you put it up a little bit, his head would, his ears would be kind of wonky on poor guy's head. I'm going to go ahead and place this so I can figure out somewhat where I want the eyes. I think just changing up the colors the slightest bit on the bears has made a big difference. It's really brightened them up. They're cute on the pattern. I just, like I said, I wanted to match my colors on my paper for one thing. I'll do the eyes all at once so I can't put the muzzle or anything on yet. But, and I can't finish the snorkel piece until I get that done. So I'm going to set him aside for now. I'm going to come in with the girl. We've got her neck. Get that attached. Again, we'll put her at a bit of an angle. Her head, I mean, and I seem to never learn how to put the outfit on first or the. But we're good. Now, we only have one arm for her, and it's just going to come down. But before we do that, I want to put on her little uh, arm flotations. And these go... Thinking how this goes. I think we got it upside down. Yeah. Put the long side to the inside. And this is actually going to get covered up by the body, so I want it off just a little bit here. And then her other flotation piece we don't need. Because again, it's all covered up by her. Um, by the beach ball. I was just kind of trying to piece this to see exactly where it went. Now you can see why it takes me so long to uh, paper piece. I'm not speedy by any means. Okay, this is designed so the edge pieces will match up with the edge of her 
the sides of her uh, swim top. So um, just trying to kind of piece it on there. And yet some of the bottom will show there. Then we can put her legs on. I want to lay these together to kind of get an idea where they're going on her body. Trying to get them a little bit straight there. Pop on her ears. And again, kind of make sure that I uh, remember that her head is not straight, so or I don't have her head, you know, straight up and down. And I do have paws for my my little bears so I'll come back and put those on the little boy also I just think these are adorable little creatures I eh? these pieces are so cute okay I'm not going to put this on yet uh, just because I do want to finish her eyes and whatnot because it'll cover up her mouth a little bit. So I want to do her face first, just to kind of give you an idea. But I will get her eyes in here. I think I better, again, place them a little bit. I love these eyes. Uh, they're just a little bit different than the normal style that Tammy does, if you um, happen to notice that. I love this style. I, um, like I said, they're just a little bit different. So the whites not so much are different, but the inside pieces, and I do like that. And you can mix and match if you prefer the other eyes. You know, by all means, use those, or you could use these on other pieces. Not completely what you wish. I'm going to quick pop the feet on here. Trying to get it somewhat straight there. I'm going to be working on monkeys at some point. Uh, the new monkeys that are out from Cuddly Cute Designs. I'm just truly waiting for my uh, paper, or some the right color paper to come in. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, work on their faces. And I'm going to come in with my pan pastel chalk and do around their eyes. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. I am. Um, the 
This is always the challenging part for me. I enjoy it, but uh, doing it, but it just got to get it as exact as I can. So I apologize. I've learned to uh, blow off the excess ink rather than um, use my fingers to brush it off. Otherwise it does smear a little bit. So if you wonder what I was doing, it just, um, you can also use, uh, a blending tool like a dove blender or you know you can get a blending pen and you can use that with the pan pastels you get a different look but if you're not comfortable with the paintbrush by all means that's that certainly works fine I have used that if it's a really really tiny area but I do want the ink around it um, a lot of times if there's no white to the eye, I see there, use my finger and it smudges. A lot of times if there's no white around the eye, if it's just a black piece, which some designers do, I will use um, the blending tool or I just don't use any chalk around the eyes. So but that's an option for you. Go ahead and do that eyelashes. I was making sure I had them both chalked. Getting caught here, so. Trying to be a, a little bit get these just a little bit shorter since he is a boy. I'll get carried away, I'm sure, with the girl because I always just think they have longer eyelashes, so I got just a tiny bit of chalk here I don't want on the bottom there. Put him aside, bring my girl out. Just put a couple little eyebrows on both of them. Um, adds a little bit. You can use a colored pencil. You could use a different colored pen. Just what I have. So that's what I'm going to use for now. I'm going to do their eyes. These are coming together. These are so adorable. I love them. Just a little bit of detailing you do, uh, to me, just makes them come to life. It's just amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put their noses on now. I can find my tweezers back. And get my glue to work again. And my other piece. Now the boy's nose, our muzzle is covered up quite a bit by the snorkel. I think that's what that piece is. I'm not um, a swimmer or a diver or anything, uh, so I won't be doing any major detailing on that part. 
I will do the girl's nose though. Uh, and you know what? We leave the nose off for a moment. We have to put their glasses and whatnot on first. I got ahead of myself. Good thing I look at the photo first for a change. Okay, so thinking I'm gonna do her the inking on the cheeks first before I do that. Okay, now, uh, let's see, start with the boy. I have to piece this a little bit together. Okay, so this would go on. Actually, his the muzzles should have went for, or after that, but they're glued down tight, so I'm gonna make this work, it's okay. Um, because once we put the nose on, it will cover things up, so we're fine. Everything can, we can make things work out perfectly well. No worries. I'm gonna be careful with my glue here, as it will smear on this acetate a little bit, so get it started off so I don't have a big glob coming out. And I'm just trying to get it just on where you see the green. I'm not doing the sides uh, just because, okay, it does pretty much stay on the bare face. I just wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want glue everywhere and sticking, so we're good. Okay, so kind of get it centered here. And then I can put his nose back on. Then his snorkel is going to come on like this. But first, we have to put this little yellow piece on. So we're all good. It's not uh, affecting anything. So, hold that piece a little bit so I can get it somewhat straight. <laughs> Those glasses, I'm sorry, I just think it's hilarious. These little goggles. Anyway, I will come back and finish detailing him in a little bit. Um, this actually would have a paw here, which again, I need to come back and cut. I think I'll put it on here on the girl when I get it done. But I'm gonna go in and put her glasses on. I'm sorry, you guys, I just think this is so stinking adorable. I hope you make it in real life because they really are cute. I don't have any uh, great nieces and nephews that wear glasses, but I can just see uh, one of my great nephews. He's quite the ham, and I can see him with snorkels on him. Yeah. Actually, both of my great nephews are, well, all three of them. They're just crazy little kids. Their senses of humor just amaze me. I am. Um, It's fun to watch them develop. Okay, so I'm trying to get that as best I can on her. Oh, just a little bit crooked there. Now I can put her bow on also. 
and the poor girl looks kind of uh, lopsided a little bit without her other arm, so to speak, on yet. So we'll get that going. And I want to wait just a moment. I want to finish her mouth and before I put that on, it's just easier to work around it. So And let me get her, the white of her nose in there. And I will figure out exactly where I want her ball. So about half of it would get glue. And how you place this with the center part of it, it's really up to you how you want to do it. It's not, uh, not a big deal. And then we will put her hand on. I'm going to do this um, backwards, left-handed, which is not completely the easiest for me, but I wanted to be able to get the glue on. So that is the little girl. I'll quick do some detailing now on my little pieces. And again, I'll come back with... Uh, the, the other paw for that. Wow, oh, these are just so cute. Sorry, I just um, when things come, when my pieces come together the way I like them, you know that they actually turn out. I'm always happy. Okay, with the exception of the missing paw, which you know that's seems to be my signature thing. I lose pieces all the time so no worries easily fixed just putting some Uh, white in here see if I can fix my squiggly lines a little better I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, just come back and do a little bit on him. And again, when I come back and complete the layout, I'll show you that process video. Perfect end to a long week when uh, things turn out the way you want or they turn out decent because it's been a challenging week. So I'm happy that something worked out good. Oh, I uh, see I didn't finish the poor little guy's nose. Just a hint, let your white gel pen dry. Shouldn't get in a hurry, sorry. It's, uh, I'm just uh, doing a little bit of highlighting here with the white chalk. 
It probably won't show a lot, but it's just enough to give it a little bit of pop. I'm going to get, um, let's see if I can do a little bit on the blue without making it really bad. And it shorts a little bit. Hmm. No, if I put too much, it will really show. So I'm going to stop and call it good. But I do want to uh, show you my two little bears, my two little swim bears. So thank you all for joining me. I will be back with his other paw here and have that in the final video. And again, if you join me for the layout process video, it'll be on there. So have a great day, everybody. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up if you would. I would appreciate it. And consider subscribing to my channel. You can see more videos coming up. That would be awesome. Take care.